Um, I know it's been a long time since I've recorded a video, um, but I have done my best to answer any questions you guys have sent me. Uh, recently, I was sent a question in my private inbox, and this person said, Hey, I was just curious about how you have been since your thyroid removal. I too have Hashimoto's and have normal lab levels, yet I have, I can't read today, yet I have very severe symptoms that keep me from living a normal life. Everybody thinks it's in my head and doesn't seem to understand what I'm going through. I have always been a happy person and deep down I know that something is not right and it's not just in my head. After watching your videos, I wonder if I should get a sonogram of my thyroid. Anyways, thanks for your videos, they really do help. Um, okay, so how do I feel since my thyroid removal? Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, for the first six months after my thyroid removal, I felt pretty crappy. For the first month maybe afterwards I felt fine. I felt actually I felt amazing. I was like, yes, it's finally over. I finally feel happy again after a few years of feeling sick. Um with these undiagnosed thyroid conditions. Um so for six months or so I felt very tired, like extremely fatigued to the point that I couldn't leave my bed. Um couldn't focus in school, couldn't um, really do much. I was just tired all the time. I was cold all the time, too. I just couldn't warm my body up. So I would get really frustrated because everything would kind of hurt more. And all my autoimmune conditions all just kind of started acting up. Like, my body was completely out of whack. And that was mainly because they were trying to figure out my medication and, you know, the levels need to be adjusted every two months or so, but they have to give each level adjustment time to work. So you just you just have to kind of sit and wait to see what that dose does. And it took a while to finally get to a dose where I finally started to feel strong again. Um, I would probably say... My last dose change was in, I think it was at the end of October, and my thyroidectomy was in March. So it took me about that long to finally get to a dose where I felt like I could be physically active and where I finally started feeling better. Um, I started actually running, and at first I just started doing it to kind of deal with the um, symptoms of having to be hyperthyroid to suppress the cancer um just kind of that feeling where your whole body is freaking out where you're just jittery all the time heart palpitations um you just feel like your whole body's about to freak out at any moment um i started uh running at first to deal with that and when i noticed that i started feeling better and I could actually get off the medication I was on for the anxiety or it wasn't actual anxiety it was the side effects but since it is the, the physiological symptoms of anxiety they put me on anti-anxiety medication um, once I started started feeling like the running was helping I stopped taking the anti-anxiety medication and um, since then since what like mid-November I've I feel like a completely different person. Um, it feels pretty, pretty great because I finally feel like I have a life again and that I have the energy to live my life. And I went through the same thing that you went through where um, people didn't quite understand what I was going through because, hey, you don't look sick, right? You look normal, you look healthy. So how would people think that you're, um, that you feel like you're like dying inside, like not to be dramatic or anything, but you just feel like you don't have the energy to move and it's all because of the stupid little gland that you had to have removed um but yeah so i wish you the best and you should definitely go see a specialist go see an endocrinologist and talk to them about um having a sonogram done of your thyroid if you really think that something's going on um having hashimoto thyroiditis puts you at a higher risk of developing thyroid cancer so you know, thyroid cancer is not that prevalent. I think it's like less than 1% of the population will be diagnosed with thyroid cancer. But when you have this autoimmune disease, it really bumps it up. So 
you already know you have Hashimoto's, uh, it doesn't hurt to get a sonogram and just be sure. So I would suggest that. Just talk to your doctor. They know best, but, you know, insist if you feel like something's not right. Because with me, I had to keep insisting. My doctors kept telling me I was fine. I was fine. I was fine. And it freaks me out to know that if I didn't keep insisting, I would have cancer right now and my body's spreading and I wouldn't know it. So you know your body best. So yeah, that's my suggestion, but I'm not a medical doctor, so <laughs> take whatever you want from this video. But um, I hope you do feel better soon and just uh, don't give up. I know it's really frustrating and I know it's easy to just slip into a depression and feel like your life is never going to get better, but it does and it will and you just have to fight for it. So don't give up, whatever you do. All right, well, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. You can ask in the comment section, and I'm pretty good at responding. Um, if you ask in my personal private messages, I'll most likely make a video of it so that um, other people can get the answer as well in case they have the same question. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, I'll make another video. Never mind. I'll just separate it. All right, anyways, <laughs> bye.